Hi, uh, in my last video I had briefed you on what is PTC or phase transfer catalyst and also what is phase transfer catalysis. And uh, we had uh, seen few examples or types of uh, phase transfer catalysts. Now in this video I would like to brief you on the mechanism of uh, phase transfer catalysis and also few applications wherein few reactions wherein we use PTC. Now when we talk about a mechanism of uh, PTC or phase transfer catalysis, we can uh, say that the phase transfer catalysis is, can be uh, di uh, divided into two steps. The first step being the transfer of the reagent from one of the reagent from its normal phase to the other phase. Okay, so for example, you have if you have a, a, a reagent which is soluble only in aqueous solvent and another reagent which is soluble only in organic solvent, and you have to carry out the reaction between these two. What you do is you have to transfer one of them, either the aqueous, uh, the reagent in aqueous solvent or the reagent in organic solvent to the other phase. And then once we have transferred one of the reagents, then we carry out the reaction. Okay, Be between the transferred reagent and the non-transferred reagent. So these are the two steps of phase transfer. Catalysis. Basically, we can classify. I mean, we can uh, separate it. the processes happening in PTC like this. Now, uh, let us say, take an example. Say this one, wherein you have an alkyl halide, an anion, and you are carrying out <coughs> the reaction. Okay, it's sort of substitution reaction, nucleophilic substitution reaction. And here you have the PTC, okay, quaternary ammonium ion or quaternary ammonium salt or any uh, even phosphonium salt like that. Okay, now uh, this alkyl halide will be soluble or will is present in organic uh, phase, and the ion halide ion, if you want to. Uh, 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 attached onto the alkyl halide will be soluble in aqueous solvent. If you want to dissolve both these together in one particular solvent, you'll have to go for probably toxic hazardous or uh, uh, expensive solvent. So instead of that, uh, we, are, we are keeping each uh, substrate in its own solvent and then we are carrying out the reaction using PTC. Now let us see how it is happening. Now say we have the uh, organic phase here, suppose, okay, and the aqueous phase, okay, and then uh, the space between, I mean the uh, junction between the organic phase and the aqueous phase is called the interface. It is here that the reaction will happen, okay. Now, uh, the, this uh, at the interface, a gradient of the concentration of the components of steam over here. Here, the, there will be organic phase and uh, the uh, substrate soluble in organic phase, and here you will be having in the aqueous phase, you will be having a substrate soluble in aqueous phase. Okay, and since you are using the PTC, at the interface, these two substrates will be uh, forming a concentration, so, uh, uh, forming a sort of concentration. Gradient. Now, uh, see here uh, you have the uh, uh, here this one. If you just read from right to left, you have the quaternary ammonium salt or the BTC and the halide ion or the anion, which is soluble only in aqueous medium. Okay. Now, what happens is in uh, the ion in the BTC and the halide uh, halide ion is. Uh, exchange. There is an exchange of anions happening between the PTC and the uh, uh, nucleophilic uh, substrate. Okay. Now this PTC in a press phase is uh, it's remaining in ionic form. Okay. Now uh, what what is the now what is this PTC doing? It is transferring Y minus this ion to the organic phase. See, in the organic phase it has become QY. So what has, how has it happened? I mean, it is taking 
y minus from the aqueous phase to the organic phase. And here the reaction happens between y minus and rx and you get ry the product. Okay, and you get the get back the PPC. Okay, you get back the PPC in uh, aqueous phase, it will be again in, remaining in ionic form. So that's the mechanism. Okay, you have a quaternary ammonium salt or the PPC. It will take up the anion which is soluble only in aqueous medium and then transfer it to the organic phase. And in the organic phase, the reaction between the anion and the alkyl halide happens and you get the new nucleophilic displaced uh, product and the PPC is regenerated or PPC is got back. So it is uh, acting as the catalyst. Okay, so the uh, required contact between the alkyl halide and the uh, anion nucleophile is uh, established by the PPC and the uh, displacement reaction happens. Okay, now uh, this uh, once the displaced anion uh, is then replaced over here, okay, and so this cycle continues. Okay, so this uh, the cycle continues and this is this is then come I mean once the PTC is brought back cycle is completed. So that is the mechanism of uh, uh, phase transfer catalysis. So it did not be nucleophilic displacement reaction you have a variety of reactions taking place. Okay see here I have listed out few examples few types of reactions wherein PTC is applied. You have uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction, alkylations, displacements, oxidation, carbene reaction, polymerization, and so on and so forth. So, so, so many, in so many reactions, we are using PPC. Okay, and uh, this is um, mainly PPC is used in synthetic organic chemistry, wherein we can uh, synthesize a lot of uh, new organic compounds using simple PPC and uh, uh, we need not go for toxic uh, uh, reagents or solvents. That's the mo most uh, uh, beautiful advantage of uh, phase transfer catalysis. Now let us see a few examples, okay, or few, a couple of examples related to a few, few ta applications. Now, here I have uh, taken up one example of Michael addition. See, so you have the <coughs> two substrates and the CPTC is the PPC you are using and uh, you are using 50% KOH, the base. Okay, and telurene is a solvent. See, so here uh, you, you are not using very costly solvents uh, or toxic solvents. You're using very simple solvents and you're carrying out a reaction between these two via Michael addition. See here, this is the place of joining. Okay, so uh, simple uh, reactions can happen. Okay, another example uh, is synthesis of verapamil. Okay, a natural product synthesis of verapamil. Now, in synthesis of verapamil, we are using in all almost every step, we are using PPC. So you, you need to carry out the reaction between sodium cyanide and this uh, aromatic compound, aryl compound. So, so sodium cyanide is not soluble in uh, organic solvent. So you take the help of PTC, you can introduce cyanide group here. Okay. Similarly, uh, the reaction can be, see, uh, isopropyl group is introduced here. Okay. So this is type of C alkylation that is alkylating at the on the carbon. Okay, this is simple displaced when you are displacing chlorine with cyanide or nucleophilic substitution. Then here to this carbon you are introducing an alkyl group isopropyl. So this is uh, C alkylation. Okay, and then uh, you have the cyano the nitro to the nit uh, nitrogen of the cyano group you are uh, introducing. Uh, alkyl group so this becomes N alkylation okay and uh, here out again you are replacing the uh, chlorine this this chlorine is replaced by this compound again N alkylation so you get verapamil 
Okay, so this is a natural product uh, and the synthesis of the natural product. So here you, at every stage you're using PTC and uh, look look at the beauty, you're not using any toxic solvents. Okay, easily you can carry out the reaction. Another example is uh, uh, addition of uh, dichlorocarbene. This is a very beautiful example or a very useful uh, application of uh, PTC. Now, addition of dichlorocarbene, uh, you, you have to use uh, uh, CHCl3 as one of the reagents. So here, styrene is treated with uh, chloroform. Okay, so you are using only NaOH as a, as, a, as a base and then you are using PTC. And you can easily introduce a cyclopropane ring on the styrene. See, you get 1,1 one, one dichloro, 2 phenyl cyclopropane. So, uh, very, very easily you can introduce the uh, dichlorocarbene onto this double bond and you get the cyclopropane ring. Now, the, another example is uh, using alpha pinene, you can introduce the uh, cyclopropane ring on alpha pinene. See, very easily you are using, you can carry out the reaction. Simply use the chloroform and PTC and sodium hydroxide, you get the product. Okay, wherein the dichlorocarbene is inserted or added to the double bond. Okay, now another example wherein here we can see the C alkylation that is uh, alkylation on a carbon. See here you have phenyl acetonitrile to this carbon on the uh, uh, phenyl acetonitrile you are introducing this alkyl group, ethyl group. Okay, see here you can see. You get the product. You are using TEBAC as the uh, phase transfer cat uh, catalyst that is triethyl benzyl ammonium chloride. Triethyl benzyl ammonium chloride is used as the PTC. You can uh, remember that every st uh, after every reaction you, we are uh, taking, getting back to the PTC. Okay. So that is why it is called, uh, uh, it is helping in green chemistry. Now another example wherein here we can see N alkylation. Now here this is C alkylation wherein to the carbon the alkyl group is attached. Now this is N alkylation. Uh, sorry, this is I mean, sorry. Uh, this is another example of C alkylation, phenyl acetone, to which an alkyl group is introduced to the methylene carbon. Okay, the this uh, uh, alkyl group is introduced here very easily. And what is the role of this base over here? It is to uh, abstract this proton, okay, uh, methylene proton which will be acidic. Okay, now as I said uh, just before, the uh, example for N-alkylation, uh, that is uh, alkylating the uh, nitrogen on a heterocyclic compound. We have 5 h dibenzo bf azepine okay, and azepine de derivative. To this uh, nitrogen, you can introduce this uh, phenyl uh, benzyl group. Okay, you are using uh, tetrabutyl ammonium sulfate as the uh, PTC. Okay, and you get the uh, nitrogen is alkylated. See, this benzyl group is alkylated. So, you get 5-benzyl, 5-H, dibenzo, BF, azepine. Okay, so you are introducing benzyl group onto the nitrogen. So, that is an example for N-alkylation also. And our HEC reaction can also be carried out using PTC. See here, uh, TBAC is used. Okay, uh, tetrabutyl ammonium uh, chloride is used. Here, you are using tetrabutyl ammonium sulfate. You are using tetrabutyl ammonium chloride. You have the Canadian catalyst. You can carry out the couple, couple, coupling reaction and see here you get the product very easily. You need not go for any toxic uh, solvents like the BMF or DHF or anything uh, of that sort. Okay, you easily get the product. So these are a few examples which I wanted to discuss with you. There are many more examples available in literature. Please go through those and then uh, uh, come up with more examples. Alright. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.